Now, the one day special is a wow. It is from Ranger, it is from Tim Holtz, and it is the most vibrant alcohol eggs. Look at those colors merging into each other. Every single time it will be completely unique background and every time you will be wow. Look at them. Now we have got the tool as well, the air spreader of course, and then you can mix them. Look how they mix. Every time is mesmerizing and they are so much fun. That is one of those things that you will spend hours and hours just playing with color. And you have got an amazing one day special. You have got the 15 of course of the, the latest alcohol inks from Tim Holtz. We have got in the show as course the new alloys as well. So you can put in your basket all those different items including the the new paper that Tim Holtz has personally selected for the alcohol inks. Look at them. No matter what colors you choose from your selection of 15 colors, you are going to achieve amazing results. And of course, the hand that is doing all that is our Lou. Hello, Lou. Hello. How are you doing? I'm not too bad, thank you. Yourself? I'm very well. I'm, I'm a bit far. <laughs> but of course, here at, at, at Hochanda, we are keeping all the guidelines, uh, government guidelines. So we have got this social distancing. But of course, Lou Sims is here in the building to show us what you can achieve quickly and easily with the amazing Tim Holtz Ranger inks. Now, alcohol inks, if you never have seen them before, is something that they they came about quite a few years ago and of course Tim Holtz and Ranger, that combination that is so creative. Now it's all about colour, it's all about working in uh, you know, non porous surfaces to achieve the most vibrant of results but also to have amazing colours. Now can I show you uh, the colours that you are getting in the one day special because Look at that beautiful Laguna, beautiful of the glacier, the monsoon. Look at those gorgeous cova the gorgeous cobalt, the boysenberry, the vineyard, vi vineyard, and you're getting them all. Look at the gumbo, the fiesta, yeah, fiesta. And then of course, my favorite, rose good. Oh, look at that deep dark red. And then you have got the amber, and then you have got the sienna, and then you have got the Dijon, which is such a beautiful master in here. And then you have got the greens, the moss, the moss. Uh, evergreen as well. Uh, sorry, I'm just gonna, yeah, we all go on now. A little bit of fiesta and a little bit of mojito, a little bit of, of course, uh, Lou will show us exactly the different techniques you can do. But one of the reasons why we were talking before the show, and Lou and myself, we are crafters with, you know, we have been around the crafting block for a, quite a while. And we have to tell you that the alcohol, uh, alcohol inks is one of those ones that, you know, is. I think they mean so much in our uh, stash. It's one of those ones that when, uh, you know, I had, well, my, my at the time partner, uh, he was like not a crafter at all, but the alcohol inks was the one thing that he loved doing because it's something that you can transform, upcycle your glass jars, upcycle your glass bottles, and then suddenly become something unique. But of course, these ones are the latest colors from the alcohol inks collections. Look how that that rainbow of colors, look how the colors will come through. The intensity and the vibrancy of these colors is extraordinary. Now, the papers that you want to use is UPO papers, of course, and we do have got those on the show, but there are other, other products that you can use as well. What I love about this is that through a rainbow of colors, but when you think about rainbow, you think about vibrancy, you think about the overwhelmed by color, that are those cues in here, and you have them, look at them. Now, of course, we have got the alloys, and this is what is shown in there, those metallic cues. Those ones are separate, but on the one day, so the one day special is 15 of those beautiful colors. If you want to go for the pick and mix of the alloy, the details are on the screen. But let's talk about the flexi buy. Uh, let's talk about what you're saving on the one day special. So let's talk about everything. So if you want the 15 colors, you have them as a one day special, you are saving 20 pounds. You can spread the cost into interest free payments of 29 pounds and 60 pence. That means you're spreading the cost and it's easier. So you pay that and today and then you pay the following month. Of course you pay PMP if you're not a Freedom member today. 
today you, if you want off payment 59 pounds and 20 pence of course at 180702 and of course I need to tell you that over 10% of the stock has already gone now if you want to go for the pick and mix the alloy we have got them as well but mm, now of course alcohol inks the only one thing that we need to mention clearly is that because of the contents of the alcohol and resin you need to be in a well ventilated area a room because of course it can be a little bit oh, oh open a window uh, anyway uh, that's it uh, yeah right so let's have a look about the alloys in there as well now of course the alloys in here they are a new creation new development and of course you know I'm very lucky that I uh, met uh, Tim Holtz a few times and he is this you know amazing genius uh, he is a crafter that knows he has a very a, a creative vision where what what he wants and then he works with ranger to bring you those products and alloy were launched earlier this year and it's something that creates very different effect from pearls or metallics now these are a pick and mix you choose whichever two you want and i'll tell you one thing i would choose now my own two and check out my basket immediately because i am Really, we are very busy for this. And for instance, uh, we are very busy across all the options. For instance, can you see the foundry? I mean, that's one of my favorites. You know what? I would do two pick and, pick and mix. I would go definitely from the foundry. Look at the mine, that copper. I would go then for the statue. And then I would put that to my basket. And then I do another selection for the sterling. And then I would go for the gilded. I do feel bad for the, me the, me the mind, but you know what? You know, maybe I will double up and I will give one of extra to Leone. Maybe that's what I would do. Because 11 pounds and 50 pence, you can get, you know, whichever two you want. Foundry, I just love foundry. Can we have a look at the foundry again? Because foundry, can you see the metallic sheen in there? The luster here, and it has got like gold and the silver mix. Now, from my experience, um, you know, you don't want to, like you're thinking, well, I'll go for gold and then silver and mix them up. It's not exactly like that. It just has got mix in a way that is completely unique. Now, you're saving three pounds in this bundle, and your item number is 073289 is your item number now remember that that is a pick and mix and talking about picks and mix we have got the pearls options of the alcohol inks in pick and mix you choose whichever two you want and they are pearls but beautiful color now again with pearls and alloys can you hear yeah that is of course it has got a ball bearing because the pearls and the alloys have got par particles in here and you can see them here that you, and you need to shake them to activate to mix and rotate the, the uh, kind of uh, pigments that are at the bottom you know alcohol inks are usually dye but of course the pearls have got that pigment in there they have got i'm gonna have gonna show you exactly the colors that you are getting well you are getting if you or the selection that at the minute is available now if you want to go look at that the celestial can you see the metallic sheen in there the luster mineral look at that <gasps> a smaller how beautiful now they work ex uh, they work as ex a little bit different from the alloys so don't think that they're <gasps> intrigue tranquil sublime i love these three together Deception. Oh, why is red deception? A splendor. Sh a splendor should have been green because there's a movie Splendor in the end. Yeah. Is, isn't it something like that? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, al al alchemy, that beautiful, uh, beautiful yellow. It's like alchemy to make gold out of, of the regular metals. That is the options that you currently have. Remember that, uh, you know, whenever we have a pick and mix, there is no warranty that the whole selection is going to be available uh, until uh, you know during the show. So please, if you have got like a favorite and you really want to try the pearls, do make that selection, add it to your basket, and check out. That is the only way that you can secure your selection. Nine ninety nine is your price for say, for instance, I want, I did like uh, the beautiful alchemy, and I did like maybe let's go for, shall we go for this beautiful color? And then we can create a green. So then maybe these two, if you add them to the basket and then check out, nine ninety nine is your price five zero two two five two. Because also you remember that the baskets do empty themselves and uh, after ten minutes. So when you do make, make the decision and the selection, it's good to good idea to check out. Now, 
We have got Yupa paper. Now, I mentioned that you put, well, alcohol inks work on non-porous um, surfaces, and the, the material that most most of us we want to use with our alcohol inks is our is the UPO paper. Now they have been selected by a Tim Holtz to work, and they are original UPO papers. It's not you know a similar or no no. It has got you can see there that is UPO. And uh, now they are thicker than regular because obviously Lou will explain it why, but it has got the, the ability to to throw a lot of ink into it and not buckle. They are 5 by 7 so it means if you are a 5 by 7 car maker, you have got here the front of your car ready to work with. 9.99 is your price for uh, the 5 by 7 You are getting 10 of them. 072-8866 is your item number. And then, do you want to, uh, let's tell, we mentioned the, oh, let's go to the demonstration. Uh, that's what we, uh, Lou, take it over. <laughs> Right, I thought we'd start by just actually having a play and see what the inks do. So I've just taken a selection of different colours and I've just got um, the Laguna and the Mojito. I love the Mojito colour. So I'm just going to put some down on the Yupo. And I haven't put any blending solution on. And you can see that the inks will move on the Yupo beautifully because the Yupo's a slick surface, so it's designed to create that movement. So I'm just going to put some Laguna on. And where the inks go over each other, they actually, you know, they, they're competing with each space. So they're knocking each other out of the way, as you can see from there. If I then add a little bit of blending solution on top, the blending solution just lightens and pushes the inks around. And it gives you a little bit more place to move them. And so we can actually then move them around. We could tip it a little bit. Uh. But I'm going to let it dry like that and just watch it all merge through. Because what I'd like to do is then mix in the, wow. the pearls. Yeah. Now, the pearls need to be shaken. Yeah. Now, there is mica at the bottom of the, okay. um, the bottle there. But the pearls are a little bit different. The pearls are mica, but it's not suspended in the liquid. It's actually, it infuses within the dye. So there's no dilution of the colour. Yeah. So I'm going to put a drop of the pearls on and when you put it on I don't know whether you can see but it actually does like a real fizz wow I love that and it actually you can see it bubbling for yeah. want of a better expression she says yes yeah, but so I'm just going to put some on so I'm just going to use the blending solution because the blending solution as well as lightening can also help with the movement yeah so I'm using the uh, Tim Holtz air gun air tool and I have to say I've, I've fallen in love with this I really, really have. I didn't have that much control when I was using my heat gun or a hair dryer. Yeah. But this way, I can be really quite precise and I don't have the noise either. Now, I need to tell you that uh, at home, the air blower, uh, now the, that we have got here, now it is limited stock. So now, if you want it, please do check out your baskets. Uh, 14 pounds and 49 pence. And of course, it's, it's, it's flow, it's flying. So please do check out your baskets. Um, 307 and 687 is your item number. I think it's going to be so, uh, now selling out, in technical sellout right now. So please, uh, that means that every, every, all our stock is in baskets. So now, if you check out now, uh, then you will have, you will get them. But if you do not check out, then you might miss out, and you don't want to. Now, uh, the, we have got another bundle here, which we have got the alcohol blending, uh, sorry to interrupt Lou, but you know, the alcohol blending solution, which uh, Lou was using as well, and you have got the applicator as well here to apply a different uh, the, the inks in the different ways, and then removing and creating uh, kind of the self-making effect. Uh, also, you are getting here in the alcohol ink blending pen. Now, this is a very going very, very quickly, so we don't want you to miss out because you are watching the demo and miss out. Now, I need to tell you that, uh, what is it, this person? 70% of the stock is flying, like a minute, uh, like, like a seconds ago. Uh, she, I mean, look. <laughs> oh. Oh, that, that, this is the thing. This is what is happening. So this is why I need to tell you to check out your baskets. Three quarters of the stock has already gone. 18 pounds and 50 pence. If you want yours, uh, please do check out those baskets. Do not miss out. All right. Uh, so shall we, uh, shall we go back to Lou now? <laughs> Let's um, go. Well, I'm actually glad you interrupted because my alcohol inks have actually dried in that into, you know, into that little bit of gap we had but that doesn't mean we can't reactivate them I mean I could leave that like that and think wow 
but I can add blending solution to it, I can add more inks. But what I thought I'd do is we try some of the alloys. Now, the alloys are metallic par particles which love to stay together, but they pack a real punch. And if you put them down, they do move, but what they want to do is they just actually want to stay together. So if I'm going to put some on there, as you can see, so if we add, we need to then to make them move is to add some blending solution. Now, the blending solution you do need to add to the alloys as well because oh. it will actually um, fix it because the blending solution has a form of a resin. So if I move it around, mm. yeah. you can actually see it moving and it creates a wonderful, if you keep it moving, a wonderful veining. If you stop, they all suddenly start to want to go back together again. So if you can keep it moving around, that's when you can create that lovely marbling veining effect. But I still think it's nice to actually have different pools of all the different wow. colour. Yes, indeed. I know, a lot of that's just mixing up. And every time will be completely different, won't it? Totally different. Um, and even down to the colours you choose and which layer you want to do it. Now, I put that on just the ink. So if I do it slightly differently and I actually put the blending solution down first, okay. the inks now will move yeah. now, a little bit quicker and they will lighten wow. when we mix them together. So I want to put a bit of pearl on. Yeah. Now look, can I just interrupt you again? This is how busy we have got at the show, is this the show. Now the blending uh, solution, of course the alcohol uh, in blending pen as well as the applicator, technical sellout. If you have got it in your basket, check out that and that way and we will let you know if any bounce back so you can get yours right let's go back to the loose <laughs> sorry I didn't want to waste it not moving so as you can see because I put a lot of the blending solution down yeah. I've got um, a, I can disperse it a lot more so you've got a softer look compared to just putting droplets down directly opposite so you can actually now control a little bit of the intensity of the color of the background you want to have and I must admit, this air tool helps. I mean, you can do nice little gentle movements, but if you really want to do, you know, where it shoots out at the side, just punch it a little bit more. Tim designed it so it would, um, you could hold it neatly in your hand. Now, I'm not moving my paper around, but I'm going to put a little bit here because we've got a little bit of the pearl there. Oh. And I just want to mix it <gasps> gently oh, into the that's ink. That's beautiful. So it's working together. Because they're translucent, they will blend, but they will also sit on top of each other. So now I can actually move that across. I'm just going to do that with this bit here, and then we'll add a little bit of the alloys on top too. So your background, you can pl oh, I could play forever. Now, now um, Lou, are you using the UPO, the, uh, the larger sheets, the, the, the heavyweights? I'm using the heavyweight. The heavyweight UPO is... Um, Similar to if we were doing something like a 300 plus GSM yes. watercolour card. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take all the abuse that I'm actually throwing at it. Ooh. She says. You knew. <laughs> I I'm thought you were that. nice. I'm going, well, I did the foundry on this one, so let's do a different colour alloy. I'm really, didn't think I would be, I'm really loving this statue. It's, it's got a really nice warm tone yeah. to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a few, a couple <gasps> of drops goes a, a long way. Oh, and I we'll just them. add some blending solution to make it move a little bit. Oh. And we'll blend it out a little bit more. And I'm just going to move it so it moves across. Oh, look at that. And if, where the blending solution lightens, you can push the alloy out and it creates that lovely marbling effect. Yeah. But you can also have it clump if you want to, you know, so you can have a really big statement yeah. of the alloy as well. Wow. So I'm just moving it a little bit. And look how now you, that shot was amazing. Um, now you can see how the alloy has broken up a little bit and creating those little effects in there. I, just, and around the outside there, yeah. it looks like that marbling effect. I mean, you Indeed. can carry on with this bigger patch here. So if I add, let's add a little bit of the pearl on top of it. Because they all work together. Yeah. And do you find that you have got like, like a go-to technique or do you just go random? I personally, um, well that's a really hard one to actually answer. <laughs> I, I think it actually depends on the mood I'm in. Oh. You know when you just want to get lost in the process yeah. 
I just go for it. If I want to create a set technique because of a background, like you've got um, one of the samples up there that I did that's got um, the stenciling on the side, because that is all alcohol inks, that's no ink involved. And that was obviously I spent a little bit longer on that. Yeah. Um, but you can layer it all up in different ways. So I'm just adding a little bit more because I yeah. can, even though this is dried, yeah. I can oh. actually keep going and I can keep changing it to how I want. Wow. I can even start merging the two together there. Yeah. So they can go that way. So that's just, we can drop the background mm. in, as you can okay. see. Now, one of the benefits of the UPO paper that I love personally, mm -hmm. compared to glossy cardstock, is it's reversible. <gasps> of course. So I can now have the same slick surface, yeah. both sides. So if I didn't like this background, yeah. I can now turn it straight over but and do another background. But also, if you wanted to do, like now I'm thinking, I love our journals. I love having double-sided. I can make pages that are double-sided. Yes, yeah, you could make pages that are double-sided um, and then crease it. It does yeah. take a while to crease, but you could actually fold it and or, make your own or book. Maybe, yeah, or cut oh. it and then just a hinge, a sort of die to do it. Now, we, I need to tell everybody that we are about a quarter of the stock uh, already gone of the heavy weight of the 8x10 Yupo heavyweight paper. Now, I also need to tell you that we have sold out. We didn't even preview. The, we didn't even mention about the tin. Now, we have sold out. No, please. And we are incredibly busy for across the board. Do check out those baskets as soon as you make the decision, as soon as you know what you wanted, you want do check out those baskets because we are, you, this is the third sellout, I think. And then, so we have, uh, yeah, three, three, uh, three uh, sellouts already in this hour. So do please check out your baskets if you want to. By the way, of course, the one day special is what Alo is using as well. Of course, these are the beautiful color inks in there. 15 of the alcohol inks, their latest release from the alcohol ink family. You see them there, all the fabulous colors. Shall we look through the colors again that you are getting? Okay. Oh, because you can see. Oh, uh, maybe Lou, are you in the middle of the demo? It's just a no, little. I can Let's go back to Lou then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that we are so far apart and it's difficult to know to get the, the, the idea I know it is in the middle of Nazi. Let's go. Right, so we did dropping that way, but the, all the alcohol inks have lovely precision nips. So we could actually, if we wanted to, just yeah. do a line. <gasps> wow. And the inks will move. And I can go in with another colour. Okay. And I can do another line. And then if I add in my blending yeah. solution, <gasps> I can then create. So that you don't actually have to do drops. You can, you know, do lots of different techniques yeah. with them. So now I'm going to go with one of the pearls, which is the foundry. Yeah. And I love put that. The foundry is the one that is both gold and silver mixed in, like a platinum yes. sort of colour. Oh. And then, well, I've, sorry, I, I use the... F so I'm just going to move this a little bit. So oh. I've got lots on there. Yeah. I can still move it. So I cheat and put a piece of acetate underneath my UPO as well because that will take up the excess wow. that I want. So you, we've got lots of different movement there. So we can still keep it straight lined. Now, if I want to blend this a little bit more, I'm going to put some blending solution actually on one of my felt wow. pads. Uh. And then I can come in and I can be a little bit more precise. <gasps> I so love I create, that. So I can now create smaller pockets of those lovely little bubbles. Yeah. So I can still, and I can pick up other colours. So the blending solution will lighten, but it will also move the ink. Then I can gradually add little bits. Wow. And it's a nice way, I mean, you can use your sponges and, you know, create a very mottled background. I just wanted to show that you could do you know, oh. you can be controlled if you want to be controlled. Yep. I'm going to pick up some of that pearl there. And a okay. bit more there. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the alloy. So, yeah. and break this large chunk up here. And it's, and it's now merging them all together. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to add a little oh. bit of the statue. And you cannot go wrong, can you, with No, you can't. You can do it. 
do it how you want to do it, if that yes. makes sense. So, I mean, we can still, if I wanted to go deep, the line that I was doing, I can use the ball and go down. But what I want to do is go back with my blending sponge and just pick some of this up yeah. and move it around. Yeah. Oh, I love that cell making. Oh, so it's, I'm, I'm trying to go, in my head anyhow, I'm trying to go for like a faux marbling. Look I'm not I sure bet. if there's marble out on the mark that is quite oh. this colour. But wow. so a couple of drops goes a long way. I'm probably being a little bit overly liberal with it. But just by gently tapping with the, the wow. sponge, you can oh. create lots. And you can keep yes. going. Yeah. Obviously, I, I could keep going. And it gets lighter. I can break up the colour. Wow. Sorry, I'm getting lost now with the, the actual making. So Look at those cells on the top. I mean, it's just amazing. So we're breaking up a bit more. So I'm going to, let's add a little bit of the gilding. Normally I wouldn't mix the alloys, but why not? They do need a good shake. Yeah. And they are better lying on their sides, just yeah. for speed shaking. So let's do just a little bit in different corners, just to break up. I love the Bosenberry colour, and I'm not a purple person. Yeah. I struggle to use purple. Yeah, me too, actually. Yeah. But, but this it's the looks one colour I have found the easiest to use. Yeah. It's very bizarre, but I do struggle. And I put more blending solution on my pad. So just that one tiny little bit of the blending solution, and I've got a whole background. As we said, sort of thing, you, you need to work in a ventilated area, and I'm yeah. lucky we're in a very big studio here. So. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So I, I could leave that now, and as you can see, you can see all the different veining. Wow. I don't know whether you can pick it up. Yes. You can see all, all the little pockets of colour and how the alloys moved in yeah. and created around the outside of the bubbles. Definitely. It, where I'm sitting, it looks oh. really intense. Look at that. So Our director is a star, isn't It's a beautiful she? way of doing a background. It's, uh, it is, sort of thing. So I'm going to put that to one side. Yeah. And let's grab another piece of Yupo. I'm going to go for a slightly smaller. Uh, look, if, if, if we can, and while you are getting for that ready, we will remind everybody, of course, of the one day special. Now, isn't it amazing what Lou has created? And there is one thing with Hollings as well. There is, it's just so fun it, there is no like it, it's hard to explain the fun you're gonna have it's not about precision it's not about having a follow it as a technique it's just sitting down and creating amazing amazing pieces of work now what you are getting in the one day special is 50 uh, the latest uh, of the alcohol inks collection from ranger and tim holtz you are getting the most you are getting you are getting evergreen, you are getting amber, you are getting sienna, you are getting Dijon, you are getting the gumball, you are getting fiesta, you are getting rose, rosewood, then you are getting cobalt, boysenberry, vineyard, then you are getting the laguna, uh, then you are getting glacier and then monsoon. You are getting that 15 beautiful intense colors, the, all of them. All of them, there they are, the 15 colors in there. Now you are going to be able to blend them in a little bit more organized way should you wish to. Creating those beading by maybe using that blending solution if you were lucky to get it. You are going to be able, look at that, I l absolutely love this uh, sample. Now this one is using Fiesta, Mojito and Monsoon. Oh, I like these colors and of course uh, doodles, uh, on fr uh, freehand doodles and Yupo paper there. Now if you want to go a little bit more maybe subtle, you can do that. You can do maybe a little bit more blending solution, lighten the colors a little bit more, bring in your pearls if you go for those ones as well. And remember once they dry you can start on them but we are going to ask Lou for which exactly which uh, is the best ink to do that for with you have got as well the ability to create look at that isn't that just stunning uh, in my ear uh, producer director where we want this in our walls to do the whole house in it now as long as your surfaces are not uh, non porous this will work and this reactive never like it dries to touch but it's always reactive with further alcohol inks in there look at the beautiful purples rich reds and vibrant yellows now 
go for the one day special if you want it. Now you have got a 20 pound saving there. And of course you have got the option of flexi buying. Spread the cost in two interest free payments of 29 pounds and 60 pence plus BNP on the first time. And then you paid in the second payment, 29 pounds and 60 pence. 180702, we are so busy in this hour. We have had three sellouts already. So if you do not, and you know, one day special should last 24 hours. We launch at 6 p.m., it should last 24 hours, but sometimes like today, they are super busy and there is no warranties that the one day special will be here tomorrow. The only way to make sure that you have yours is by checking out those baskets. Now then we have got a pig and mix. Now the pig and mix is for the alloy. Now alloy was the, it's a new, conf it's a new development, a new, um, how you call it, um, chemistry component or something, no, chemist, formulation, formulation, that, that's, the co the, that's the word. So it's not like it, it used to be traditional me metallics, but this is different to those ones. It's not a pearl either. It, how it reacts is slightly different. It is a pick and mix. So you choose whichever two are your favorites. Uh, mine, Foundry, one of my favorites with that beautiful gold silver in there. Then you have got Gilded, which is the gold. And then you have got the Sterling. Now, isn't that one of the most beautiful silvers that you have ever seen and then you have got the statue which is more of a bronze sort of color now if i put them like this you can see them all there uh, i would check out those baskets for whichever is your op favorite option because there is no warranty that foundry or gilded or sterling are going to be here later on so if you want ones check out those baskets 11 pounds and 50 pence is your price and of course your item number is 073289 now pearls are another type of alcohol inks They're all like can kind of look been showing us they all mix and much but in this case what we have got is a pearl finish now it is a pick and mix and you whichever two are your favorites for of course you can go for every color then you have to put them all time now I'm going to show you the colors that you have, the options you have got. You have got deception in that beautiful deep red. And if I tilt it, you can see the pearl coming through. Then we have got the splendor. Then we have got the alchemy, which is a yellow, a golden yellow. Then we have got sublime. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Not tranquil with a beautiful refreshing blue. Caribbean sea. And then the intrigue. It's just, it is such a nice, that's a hot hand color, isn't it? It's just like kind of that beautiful, um, you know, hot pink. Then we have got a celestial in there. You have got the celestial, the blue, that is the sky. Mineral with that beautiful bronze, coppery sort of co colors coming through and smaller hair, gorgeous colors. Now it is different. If I put it beside the allo uh, alloys, you will see that they are different in times of colors as well, but they will mix and match as well. So you can even the here, you can see that the alloy has got a different texture to it. Right, if you want to go for the pearls, remember, it's a pick and mix and you choose whichever two are your favorite for 9.99 is your item number now our our loo is using upo now upo is uh, a material that is they call it a uh, tree tr uh, tree free uh, paper and it's a synthetic material and I remember when it first came, I saw, we saw it at a trade show it was one of these mediums that is phenomenal there is so much you can do on top of alcohol inks even pastels acrylics and so much more but it is the absolute perfect surface for your alcohol inks now Tim Hall has been playing with a lot of different dupers the thicknesses and th and he has selected the ones that work the best in his opinion and of course the heavy weight it means that the c you can throw as much as you wanted. There's not buckle, but not only that. That means that, like Lou was showing, you can do one side and then turn it over, and you have got the other side. Perfect if you want to ma make mini albums or art journals. Nine ninety nine is your price. Zero seven two eight six six is your item number. Now, if you like the heavy stock, but you wanted the larger size, like uh, Lou was using, uh, you want to go for the 8x10. You're getting five sheets in here. And remember, 
Can you hear it? It's on the equivalent of about 300 GSM. Now, 13 pounds and 99 pence, but of course, you have got a larger surface here to be, to work with. 388618. And you know what? Half of the stock has already gone, so grab yours by checking out your basket. Then we have got the translucent. Now, the translucent one um, is really cool because, of course, the nature of the alcohol inks are dyes, so they are translucent. Not so much the pearls or the alloys, but the the, you know the one day special does they are they have got that translucent. so if you wanted to do panels for your die cut pan and you know lanterns and things like that you could do that and then the color of the light would shine through a little bit of through the color and of course if you put the alloys then that would be opaque more opaque so then it's a perfect beautiful marveling effect if you want to go for the translucent one you have got the details on the screen the item number is five two zero six six five is your item number then we have got the the mini applicators files and the uh, mini applicator itself. You're getting 60 uh, discs of the uh, files in here in total and then the two applicators. Uh, from speaking from experience, having two and the rounded ones makes a lot of sense because you want to mix and match different colors and maybe you want to apply one with color, another one with the, uh, in, you know, the blending area, blending uh, solution. Your item number is 660480 and of course your item number, uh, your price is £12.99. And I tend to tell you that we are over 60% of the stock gone, so please do check out your baskets for it. And then you know somebody somebody who is like now like really really yes Lou over 60% of the stock is gone now Lou <laughs> go ahead and show us the next demo right I just thought um, talking about the blending sponges I just thought we could talk about you know doing something if you want to be a little bit more measured so I'm just gonna take some of the colors I've got here I'm gonna start in the middle actually and I'm gonna start with the glacier yeah. And I'm just going to put it on my sponge. And I'm just going to go straight down the middle. Yeah. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of the Fiesta. Yeah. I think this one and the Bosenberry. And I'm just going to put it beside. Ah. And you can see there, they are blending. Yeah. And I haven't had to put any more ink on. Yeah. Then I'm just going to get a little bit of the Dijon. And one, one good point that our producer is mentioning is that very little goes a long way, doesn't it? Luke? It does, and also it's because it's on the UPO as well. Because yeah. it's a slick surface, so it's meant to travel on it. So I've created my background and I've just used the actual sponges. Mm. Now I'm gonna grab another one now, I'm quite tight with my sponges. I'm being 100% honest. I know we can get rid of them, but I do keep them because they've got colour on. Ah. Put a bit of bl so, for example, my sponges. Yeah. Put a bit of blending solution on and you've got colours again. Oh, If cool. you want to be really tight, she says. Yeah. So I'm just going to get a little bit of blending solution on another yeah. thing. And I'm just going to dab between the two. Yeah. Oh, now love I couldn't that. let it merge, but I just thought it'd be nice to. Love that. It's, it's lovely when the inks do their own thing. You know, they talk to you. Any craft product, you know, that just talks to you and lets you, you know, yeah. does its own thing. But by just doing that, I can actually now start doing over. And I'm just doing very delicate yeah. movements. I'm just put a bit more on. And it's starting to blend one bit more now into each other because I just want to do little subtle movements. Yeah, oh, I love that. So this is a way of creating a background if you wanted a little yeah. bit more, you know, control. Yeah. So I can then add those together at there. And... <sighs> I'm now, I have to tell you, Lou, I, that our producer just said, and I need one, it's like, I can watch this all day long. Oh. And I think, I think it's true because it's, it's just, it's the whole process is beautiful. It's, it's just the developing of the inks blending in. It's it is, and, it, and I mean, I can pick up a bit of colour and add it there. And now I'm just blending it through. And what I thought was, where is yeah. my... So what I thought we'd do is we'll just add now a little bit of the pearl. Yeah. 
Right, can I, can I do a little update? Just a quick one, sorry. That's okay, sorry. That's fine. Um, there are many applicator tool, there you have it. Now, technical sellout. So if you want yours, uh, you have it in your baskets, check. We have had one, but, uh, so, oh, okay. So, so these ones have now technical sellout. So if you have it in your baskets and you check out your baskets, then you still will get them. Now, we have got good news that one single, one of the blending solution, and the details are here on the L. Uh, if you want to go for the blended solution and the um, pen as well and the uh, applicator, you have got one. So now, right now, check out your baskets for it and then it will be yours. Right, <laughs> let's go back to Lou. Tell me. <laughs> It's a very busy show. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. It helps me think. Yeah. Right, so I've just put some of the beautiful, I'm, I'm in love with this colour as well, the alchemy and the pearl. It's off. gorgeous. So I thought what we could do is just go over those blends a little bit more with the pearl. And I, I don't know whether you can see it all fizzing. I, I can't think of a better description. Um, but it, it, it's, it likes it dissolves. So I'm just blending that over into the two colours. So where I've got my stripes now I've still got the background and I'm being a little bit more oh, controlled so let's take that one and I'm going to go for in the pearl not the deception let's go for the intrigue quite oh. like that name I love those colors that you have chosen but of course at home they will get uh, y you know if they go for the I don't know the pearls are a pick and mix but the colors and lay down they are the one day special but I mean, I'm using the same sponge with the, the pearls as I am for my alcohol inks. Oh. I only changed the sponge, um, the felts around, sorry, um, just because I wanted to do different colours. Now, am I right thinking, Lou, that you are picking up a little bit of the colour from the previous colour yeah. and bringing it in? And then I'm just letting the two, m and I'm just doing delicate little movements. Yeah. It's just as you can add, you know, you can add more, it, be a little bit more controlled if you want to be. And I can bring a little bit if I want to yeah. down here, just so there's a little bit of, you know, movement going across. That gorgeous. So, and then where's my blue? Let's go for all tranquil. Mm. So you could do a rainbow with the alcohol ink. Yes. So course. you could do your Richard of York and then blend it that way. Yeah. I know there is techniques out there where people put all the colours on one sponge, but I'm not that clever, I'm afraid. Oh. I haven't got this. So now I'm just going to take, and then I'm just going to do this one with the pearl going over the top and blending oh. the, the two together, just very, very subtly. So I've still got a stripe. Oh. And I'm just blending them in. So oh. we can be lovely and random and just, you know, let the inks take us where we want them to go. Yeah. Or we can have a little bit more control so that's just making a background and just blending it in mm. okay so I'm going to turn this one over not because mm. I'm tight but just to show you another way we could use the pads okay. oh I can't now because that's that's going to bug me that no let's go for it <laughs> oh, go for it. Now, can I ask you a question? You are working on a, uh, on a glass mat and some of it has seeped through. Can you reactivate it in any way? Yeah, you put blending solution. Hold on, let me just get a small piece. Okay. If I get some of the blending solution, all I, it will react it. Okay. Can you see it's starting yeah. to react yeah. along there and along there? Yeah. And then you could... So you could swish it. <gasps> And that will give you very subtle colours. Yeah, my mine up. Obviously, I haven't put enough blending solution on, but I can move <gasps> it around. I love that as well. So I can sit there and carry on, and I can pick it up. I mean, this is only a little bit of colour. Oh, sorry, I'm tipping it towards me, and you can't. Oh. See. But you can carry on. So you can take up, pick up the bits that you've got around. So, oh, that's quite nice actually. I'm going to put that there. Just love it. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, you go. Oh, I quite like that. Right. Yeah. I'm just going to get another piece of Yupo and I'm going to take the larger block and I'm going to choose two colours. Let's have a think. Hello, is yep. that the 5x7 that you are working yep. on? Yeah, that's the 5x7. Um, so I'm going to go for the mojito. I'm getting all these inks out now and I'm just like, ooh, ooh. And let's go for a nice contrast with it. Ooh, ooh let's go for the ember. Christmas colours. Not that I want to say that word in this heat. Oh, that doesn't matter. And all I want to do 
So we should put a little bit on each pad. Right. I'm going to turn that over. Sorry, I will use it. No, I won't. And then I can sit there and I can move these <gasps> around and they will gradually move <gasps> and I can make a checkerboard a pattern and the inks will slowly move in because I'm going to then yeah. add some blending solution. And that is the inks from the one day special, isn't it, yeah. Lou? Yeah. So one is ember and one is mojito. Yeah. So you can, now mm. I'm just doing a mock checkerboard and I'm going to go over it with some blending solution as well. Oh. So you can be a little bit more precise yeah. I do like the random as well. I just wanted yeah. to... Not everybody does. Oh, look at that. Right, so I'm just going to add some blending solution. Mm. And now I can go over it again and I can make the two merge. Okay. So you can keep the colours or I can just keep going over that way. Yeah. And we can do it that way. Or you can twist it. I mean, you could twist it so it goes all the way around and you can create a circle and, and it'll actually move that way. Wow. There is, th there is just so many different things you can do with the alcohol inks. And, and do you find, Lou, that sometimes like, oh, I don't really like that. I can do, a, you know, I can remove it. I can put more yep. colour, you know. So it's okay. never, even if one layer goes wrong, you can then keep working and you oh, know, you it will look amazing. Working. If I didn't like that, let's just move those inks out of the way before I knock them over again. Yeah. So I, if I don't like that, I'm just going to take a little bit of blending solution like this and let's grab a towel. Just going to let it work, I think. I could take the whole lot off. You can use your felt pads, but I can take the whole lot away. And I can start oh. again. It will stain the Upo, but I can then start again. Yeah. So... Let's do another bit there. But that's an idea because if you wanted to stamp a sentiment to have a, like a soft focus in the middle, that's an idea. That's perfect. So you can take it away. So it's, it has, it will stain the Uber, but you can w start right back again. So we could start with a different colour if we wanted to. So where's my pad? So if I just wanted to use the mojito by itself, not, I've got a little bit of the M. I can then start again if that's what I want to do. And I can go over and I can build it up. Oh. I'm just turning it around. I'm just creating stripes yeah. at the moment. And you can carry on. Because the um, blending solution is designed to move the ink, but also to lighten it. So you can do... Oh. So if you don't like it, you can just take it away. So yeah. I made a real mess here. I've just realised. Oh, now, if I take the blending solution, I'm just going to do little drops over it. Mm. You can see how it's moving it. And then if I get, I can then move the puff and I can then add those little tiny crosshairs. So you can carry on changing it as, as you want to. You can go back in with your sponge or your felt mm -hmm. and soften the edges. And if you just do it very gently on the edge of the felt, this is what I like about these felt, you can just do the very, very edges. You don't need to cover all of it oh. and then you change the look again. Now, I have a question. Will the alcohol ink work on, you know, uh, ceramic or something like that? <gasps> oh. That's on a standard tile. white tile. Um, you, I mean, it's waterproof wow. here, but if yeah. you really wanted to season this, you put a resin on the top. Yeah, of course you could. And that's got the um, alloy in it. I think this one has got the silver, the um, sterling. What and that is straight away. I haven't, um, I haven't gessoed that. I haven't done anything like that at all. I've also, oh, that is just a craft. Oh, metal. Metal. Yeah. And I've just gone on with the complementary colours, and it's worked beautifully. It's still on there. It's nice and smooth. Yeah. So that it will work on any non-porous surface that you want it to work on. So you've got lots of different choices that you actually want it to. Oh, I love it. To use. Right. So, I'm going to. Where is that? Yes. So if I didn't, like again, like I said, if I didn't mm. like that, let's chuck some more colours on, because I don't quite like those colours. Oh, OK. So I can now, even though this is dried, yep. you can put some more ink on top uh. and you can activate it. But don't, even though we're working on these backgrounds, it's a bit like, it's treating your backgrounds as you would a normal arty background as yep. such. You can cut it down. OK. Yeah, let's do an alloy. Let's, what haven't we looked at? We haven't looked at gilded. Yeah. Wow. 
I'm just looking at the mess I've made over yeah. there. And I'm going, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so look at I that. put the look gilded it on, on and I look. tap it on. Ah, oh, look, I, I love how they break down. Yeah, you know, like kind of is, you know, is I can take my felt padding if I want to and I can break it down and push it around a little bit. Yeah. <gasps> And we can do it that way, or we can leave it. You could leave it in nice big oh. pools of the, the actual alloy. I love the alloys. I love the way they move. Look at that. And you can change it. So the background I didn't like, I can now keep reactivating and reactivating yeah. until you create the background oh, that, that's that sings to you, for want of a better expression, really. Because yeah. we all like different things. Yeah. Oh. So we can... So you can see the gilding now, and you can see it all moving yeah. around, and it's still spreading out because there's still a lot of um, blending solution on there. But when it dries, yeah. it'll really shine beautifully, and I can still move little bits of it around. And this will dry, you know, in 10, 15 seconds. Even there's a little bit there, and you can be as precise wow. as you want to be. And, and that's just, you know, didn't like my background that I made with the felt pad, so I just went over the top. But then that one, I actually was a little I, bit more controlled yeah. about. So you, you can use your felt pads in lots and lots of different ways, not just... Yeah. If that's that makes sense, I'm just trying to... So, is there anything else you'd like to add on top of that? Uh, well, I, I would say to everybody to check out this, their baskets. That's what I can add to that because, um, you know, I, it's just unbelievable what you can do with, of course, your your amazing. Uh, it, it, it's, I go like, wow! It's just mind blowing what you can do with your alcohol eggs because it is. It's just. It's this ability to mix them up. Remember, you it will work on your glass, right? So, and it does have the translucent na nature as well. Now, it's just, of course, fabulous. It is a one-day special that has got the amazing 15 latest colors from the alcohol family. It's dyes that have got a translucent nature. Therefore, you can play as well, over layer them as well. Now, one of the things I did, one of the techniques I did um, Lou, once I was to do it on acetate. So then you have got those colors layering on top of each other, but kind of not blending in. And of course, Lou, ready to go, has got some acetate or something here. There we have it. Look at that. There you have it. So you have got the acetate there. Now, now, we have got, what do you get in the one day special is, of course, the 15 latest colors from the alcohol ink, uh, Camille. The Laguna, the Glacier, the Monsoon, the Cobalt, the Boysenberry Vineyard. And one of the things I find with these colors is they are even more vibrant in real life than any picture will respect them. Gumball, Fiesta, Rosewood. Then you are getting Amber, you are getting Sienna, you are getting Dijon, you are getting uh, Moss, Mojito, Evergreen. You're getting 15 stunning colors in there. Now, they are obvious, I mean, they are amazing. Over a third of the stock, of the 24 hours the stock has already gone. Grab yours. Remember that you have got a saving of 20 pounds. Now, you have got also your flexi-buy option to spread the cost in two interest-free payments of £29.60. Your one-day special is one of those ones that grows with you, that allows you to, and I think this is very important, to have this colour fun, as much experiment with color techniques. Now, they are the new colors, the latest release from Tim Holt this year. Now, they are the colors that I find, you know, you can go passionately vibrant, uh, you know, warm colors, or you can go a little bit cooler, maybe darker, should you wish to do that. But all of them work amazingly together. They are very quickly, to, you can create quickly backgrounds, you can create those layers, and every single time, they're gonna be completely unique. Grab your, you know, bottles of water that you may have, you know, like things like glass jars and things like that. Give them a coat of that. Put a battery operated inside it, and then the light will shine through. Drip, uh, if you have the vase that looks a little bit, oh, you know, that color, that, you know, that ivory, and you want to give them pops of colors, you can drip vertically, and then the shape of the vase will have those drips in there as well. There is so many things you can do with the alcohol inks, and most importantly, you will 
or if you want the latest release of the alcohol inks from Tim Holtz, the 15 colors, they, they are. The fact that you can flexify it means that you can spread the cost. You are saving 20 pounds as well. And you know what? I, I also wanted to show you a couple of samples in here. Now you can see that with the applicator you will be able to put them through the stencils as well and create different effects. Once they dry also you can stamp on it. By the way, Lou, uh, what was the best ink to stamp on uh, the alcohol inks? Say that again, sorry? Th which is the best ink pad? Um, an archival, an oil-based ink pad. It okay. has to be... <laughs> right, thank you so much, Archival. Thank you so much, Sulu. She will be back at 8 with Escort and, of course, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning and at 12. Thank you so much.